Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to make a final update on Sebastian's health. Um, so he's doing a lot better. He's got energy again and he is eating and drinking normally and he's using the bathroom fine and everything looks good. And we got the results to the blood panel back and it came back fine everything looked good the only concerning thing was that his glucose was a little bit low um but our vet said that it wasn't so low that it was concerning i just wanted to make a really quick update letting everybody know how he's doing um because i know so many of you guys were checking in on him and were worried and i don't know if some of you guys follow my instagram account or if you just follow me here on youtube but um yeah he's doing good he's doing really good um so what i think happened was that um, a couple people that live here, like my sister and Nick and everyone but me basically, was sick with a cold. And um, my sister and Nick had like come down and they'd handled the ferrets and stuff. And so I think that maybe his immune system just wasn't as strong as the other ferrets. And potentially Sebastian got a cold from them, but because he's so tiny, it hit him extremely hard. So because he's so tiny, it could have just hit him really, really hard and um, brought him basically to the the brink of death he was I didn't I don't think I like took videos or pictures or anything when he was like that it was like the last thing on my mind was to like document how he was doing physically um but it wasn't good he was sleeping constantly lethargic it wasn't really like he was sleeping he was awake but he would curl up in a ball and he would just like keep his eyes like squinty um and he was severely dehydrated the scruff um on the back of his neck when you scruff him hit the skin just wouldn't go down normally at all um it was really scary i i don't really have words to explain like how scared i was that i was gonna lose him um i really thought that i was going to so when we found out that the dehydration skewed the blood panel results and we got the blood panel results back after he had been drinking on his own again i was so freaking relieved I don't know exactly why none of the other ferrets got affected. I don't know exactly what it was that caused him to get sick. My assumption is that it was a cold that was passed down from us or a flu because I know that everyone else but me again also got the flu. Um, I think the reason that I probably didn't get it is because they all hang out in such close proximity all the time and I spend a lot of time down here in my book nook with the ferrets so that's why I probably didn't get the flu from them. Um, but. All of them are doing fine. Now all the ferrets are completely fine and healthy and Sebastian's doing really, really well. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's just like chilling. He's like cleaning himself beside me. But yeah. Sebastian is happy and healthy and full of energy. To me, it actually seems like since he's gotten better, <laughs> he's even more energetic than he was before he got sick because I've always called him like my sleepy boy he's always been a really sleepy ferret it's his favorite thing to do but ever since he got sick it's like he just has so much energy and he just wants to play and like live I guess I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly what like happened but I do know that like ever since he's gotten better he seems to just have way more energy than he did when he was healthy before he got sick if that makes sense I'm still extremely worried about him I probably will be for a a while until like it kind of hits me that you know he is gonna be okay and I can just relax about it but it still worries me I know yesterday he was a little bit more lethargic than he has been lately and I started to panic and then Vladimir seemed to get lethargic yesterday which he never is he's always so full of energy and like I started to panic about Vladimir too so I think I'm gonna worry for a little while until like it's officially kind of hit me that we're in the clear I'll be sure to keep everybody updated and like as soon as I know anything is going on, I'll, I'll let everybody else know on Instagram for sure. So yeah, I think that's it. I just really wanted to come on here and say that he's doing okay and let you guys know because I know so many of you like care about him. It honestly means so much to me that so many of you guys care about his well-being and I really, really appreciate it. And I just want to thank everybody for absolutely everything, everything you guys have done for me. It has meant the world to me and to Sebastian. So thank you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.